How's it going guys? Welcome back to Redbow. We just finished up the second little dream world adventure. I'm not really sure how many more of those would be queued up. Ooh, crawling under the sink. For the first time ever, the sinks might have some like real significance. Ah, oh, we're like border boarding up these different avenues. Is this like our mind branching out, reaching for different things, and we're like shutting down these paths? TB TBD. Where am I now? You're on a boat. Just ask the Lonely Island. A boat? Okay, that's some really good boat music. Very shanty-esque. I'm super, super down for it. The hull, the cabin. We as a young girl are very familiar with our boat terminology. What's this? A fishing rod? Looks pretty old. It may break if I try to use it. Still, it may be useful. It's like a shanty, but kind of epic in like a small way. I'm down for it. Fun music. Huh, it's empty. Wait, there's something shiny in there. I can't reach it. I need something to fish it out with. Well, I have the perfect thing for you. I call it a fraud. <laughs> the F-R-O-D there. I got it. A key. What do you unlock, little guy? I don't think I'll need this fishing rod anymore. I'll probably break it if I try to use it again. Wow, that was a really quick turnaround in the usefulness of that. That looks like it's locked. Looks like you could have climbed over or under it, whatever. Uh, do do whatever you want. Make it as easy or hard for yourself as you as you desire. What the? Hi, little guy. What the heck are you? You remind me a lot of the weird diamond-headed kid that showed up in, in My Big Sister, I think, who hang out, hung out at like the forest noodle shop? A little bit, we'll see. Shoujo. <laughs> who the heck am I? Who the heck are you? And what are you doing on me boat? I woke up here. My name is Ro, by the way. <laughs> well, Ro, I didn't say you could come aboard, but since you're here, you think you could find me some booze? Some booze? Yeah, something to drink. You look too short to be allowed to drink. Well, wow, that's very discriminatory. Height shouldn't really factor into it, Ro. And you look a little too human to be here. Listen, I'll make you a deal. Find me some booze, and I'll help you get home. Deal? I don't know. How do I trust you? <laughs> Says the stowaway on my boat. Offers there, Ro. Oh, and by the way, the name Shoujo. Did we give him our name? I don't think we did. Where the heck am I supposed to find booze? Well, you, you showed me out of nowhere. Show it up. I'm sure some booze will too. You can always check below for some. Here's the key that will get you into the hull. Oh. I, I just kind of thought that the key we found would be what we need for that. That's whatever, all the keys. An empty bottle could be useful, could it? I guess there could be casks downstairs or something. Can't do anything with this radio. Don't worry, Sojo. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Well, we'll get that all figured out for you. They have the old rusted key and the key to access the hull. Alright, that's the one that very pointedly describes itself as being a hull key. That's probably the one. This place is awfully dark. Why does this keep happening to me? Am I stuck in a dream? Um Umbi? This is no dream, little one. Huh? Who said that? You should be used to seeing uncomfortable weird monsters in each one of these little adventures by now. Who are you? The important question is, who are you, little one? I don't know, I asked first. My name is Ro. And it seems like we finally meet at last. Wait, how did you know who I am? I see many who travel through this world. All of these characters, Kobe and Umbi and Kokai, they all like know us already. Even Shoujo seemed to know us already. I don't know what's going on. Each with their own journey to discover. And you're not the first I've seen that wears a red bow. So, this is not a dream? It depends on what you think is a dream. 
Our worlds collide once you fall asleep. Dreams are just our imagination of past events. But do you remember any of this, Row? <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> I don't remember. Then, this must be real. We are not created by dreams, but by memories. Memories of those who have suffered help mold this world. Then, how did I end up here? That answer is much simpler than you think. But for me to answer your question, Ro, I will need something from you. Ah, so many people asking so much of me. Great, there's always a catch. I only ask for my freedom, Ro. That drunken imbecile, drunk guy in, he concealed me in this wretched cage. Why? You seem friendly enough. He doesn't trust my nature, nor should you. You want my help, but you're going to actively tell me not to trust you? It's not a great way to go about it. Which is? I have a bad habit of drowning things, Ro. It is my purpose. You could work on that. I think, like, if, if you don't like your job, you can quit. You can always find other work. If you don't like drowning people, I'm sure there's something else out there you'd be good at. Well, that's reassuring. Let me ask you something, Ro. What is your purpose? Mine is to find a way home, I guess. And you won't find it until you help me. Us spirits are just as vulnerable as you. Just remember that, Ro. I'll try to keep it in mind, dude. I'm having a weird day. Multiple days? One night? It's hard to say. Crowbar? Always useful for wrenching who knows what open. Probably used to pry open boxes. Well, I'd probably use it on this create. It's just supposed to be a crate. There's also like a hole behind it. Can't do anything with it. Well, then I will create a solution for myself. It's a big box. Well, let's give it a shot. There! I managed to somehow crowbar the entire thing into non-existence. And broke the crowbar while I did it. I wonder where this hole leads. That was that was just like, in my mind, quite the failure of an attempt. It seemed to not work in really any way. Oh, I, I tried to interact with it. I didn't expect to just be able to walk on, walk on through like that. Ah, there's the the next keyed off area for the old key. Let's try you here. It worked. Hey, anyone, anyone like fun or interesting hanging out back here? Anyone who's not like a horrible creature who's gonna try and drown me or choke me or or any of that sort of thing. Well, this must be the booze Sojo was talking about. But I can't just carry it in my hands. I need to find something to put it in. And the gate switch, which I probably don't want to activate. This must be the switch to release Umbi. I thought it was the one in the room I am in right now. But do I really trust him? I better wait and be sure first. I, I, I'll, I'll fill up the booze while I'm here. This should work. There! Now I just have to give this to Sojo. Well, that's mostly ready to go. Somehow I still have a crowbar, even though it's broke. And, uh, and a bottle of rum. I feel like I'm supposed to release Sojo. Not Sojo, Umbi. Uh, but I am going to ignore him. I saved, I just saved. I'm going to ignore it, I'm going to go give the booze away, see if that triggers a particular ending, and then my, like, committal choice that I'll reload to will be setting him free, I think, probably. Well, we'll see how that plays out. There you go. Here, Sojo, is this okay? Aha! Good old rum! You done well, lass! Now, excuse me while I drown my troubles. Um, excuse me? Are you going to help me find a way home? Huh? Oh, oh, right. I can send you home. Just try to keep out of trouble. Okay? I haven't done this in a while. My apologies if you end up somewhere else. Uh, w wait a minute. Oh. Well, I remember this place. But I'm sure there was a bright light? Huh? Lighthouse? Hmm. This seems 
more like the intended ending. There's no light, though. What's this? A lighter? Is this the same looking lighter? Pretty well the same, same ass lighter. I'm going to reload and release Umbi, because I think maybe he ends up being a bad guy and he just goes and kills Sojo and then that's the, that's the end of that, like, sequence. I do want to go test that, because this seems more musically and atmospherically, like, uh, the, the true ending or, or what have you, so we'll, we'll test it out. This, I, I hate this. Anyone who ever makes a game, do not make new game the first option, especially in a game like this that doesn't prompt you with like an are you sure thing. Because I'm starting up the game more than likely, like, you know, 9 times out of 10, 99 times out of 100, I'm going to want to continue, not start over. So don't, don't put it there where people can accidentally click it. Continue. Safely. Ah, God, I paper cut the shit out of the back of my finger there. It feels terrible. I I know when I did it, it was like an hour ago, and somehow I only just, like, noticed it now. Like, noticed how much it actually bothers me. I better wait and be sure. Right, yeah, so I don't necessarily, like, how, how do I simply activate it? Maybe I have to go chat with him first, because otherwise, like, I don't have the option to flip the switch. And if I go give the booze to Sojo, then that just automatically progresses. I guess I could go talk to him about Umbi? Any luck, bro? No, not yet. But I still don't trust you, you know? It's not about trust, Ro. Trust is useless in this world. I remember a time when this vessel had a crew. Loyal and hardworking. Always followed the captain's orders. They trusted him. Now, they sleep soundly in their deep sea beds by the palms of my cold, lifeless hands. Not a lot of reason to trust you then. You drowned them all. I can see now why Sojo doesn't trust you. I am no murderer. I cannot drown what is already drowned. What do you mean? The crew trusted an alcoholic to lead them. He should be at the bottom of the sea, not a bottle. Wait, Sojo is the captain? Sojo is the captain? Then what does that make you? Well, I kind of assumed he was the captain. He has the hat. The, the notable captain hat. He's not locked up. Guess he could have mutinied, but I don't know. The revenge. I, I need to go now. Ro, you are not a part of our world. Therefore, you should not help us. Find a way home. Oh. See, that seems pretty trustworthy. Like, offering me to, like, go take care of myself first and foremost? Hey, Sojo, can I ask you something? Did you find me any booze yet? Not yet, but what happened to your crew? What do you mean? They're outside working. Did you kill them? Why, what? How dare you think I... Did you murder them? I... I... I, I didn't mean to. It was my fault. All my fault. This used to be a humble fishing vessel. Topped with the greatest crew he had ever seen. I was so proud of them. They were like family to me. But I saw them more than my real family. I spent all my days fishing. I was never around to be a husband and a father. I came to work one morning and found a note. Right here, in this very spot that I'm sitting in. She left me. Took the kid, too. I worked so hard for my boy that I forgot all about him. A father's deepest fear. So what's one to do in a situation like this? Drink! Drink till one's soul dies along with their dignity. And a fearsome storm had trapped us in. I was too drunk to stay awake. I passed out. When I woke, everything was gone. Everything but me mere boat. I lost more than just my family. I lost my whole life. Maybe there's a way to fix this. You can't fix death, bro. But there must be a good ending to every story. Sometimes stories never end. And that's why we're here. Did you find me any booze? Not yet, man. 
Let me know when you do. Well, if he seems to have he seems to have some remorse, but he's not handling it well. He's really just drowning his troubles. Not part of our world. Find a way home. Can I ask you something? How did you end up here? I want to know before I release you. Well, then let me ask you a question, Ro. What do you do when you encounter a problem? I try to work it out and solve it. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? What if there was no solution? What would you do then? Then I would ask for help. That is what we live for, isn't it? Help. Because we cannot help ourselves. We are trapped here, Ro, in a world where we relive our fates until the end of time. That is why we ask for your help, Ro. It is people like you who we hope for. Why me? You were chosen because of your nature, your goodwill. Am I the only one? No, there are many just like you. Young boys and girls, they drift into our world through slumber. Only kids are chosen? Yes, children have the mind to learn and observe. They are able to make the most pure decisions. And in their sleep, they are free from control. That is why they are chosen. Doesn't that seem like a bit too much? Asking kids to make these kinds of decisions? I mean, I had to help a lady and her baby. There are always greater needs than ours, Ro. Helping those two was your greater need. As theirs will be to help others in time. We may be spirits stuck in purgatory, but at least we still know what it means to be human. This ended up being a pretty cool story, and I'm very glad I reset things to gain this extra depth, because there's like the immediate easy one of just giving the booze and being sent away. We wouldn't have kind of understood the, the makeup of this world and like why we were having these experiences and why us and all that. The looping nature of it feels a little bit like the story of my big sister. But, like, no one stepped in to intervene with that. We seem to, like, help that ourselves, I think. I am a little curious. I'm a little curious if, uh, that is intended to tie into this in some way. Like, that looping bit or maybe the, the spirit noodle shop in that game might tie in in some small way. I won't dwell too hard. You have a very special gift, Ro. I say it's very. I just, I just think it's... <laughs> that important. I don't know why I added the word. Use it. Find your way home. I will. But just one more thing. It's about Sojo. Hmm? He had a family, you know. He lost them the day he lost you. I see. I'm not asking you to forgive him. I just want you to remember who he once was. It's a difficult thing to forgive someone, especially over the carelessness of his actions. But, he did die alongside us. I just wish he told us. We all could have lived through this. I think you still can. I still believe in second chances, even after death. Then, I bid you farewell, Ro. I hope you find your way home. Oh! I didn't even have to release him, he just sent me off on his own. And either way, we end up back at the lighthouse. Cool, I'm, gl I'm glad I took on the the branching options there to, to see both. The lighthouse without without a proper light. Save as before, no alternate dialogue. And a lighter. I was curious if maybe you would obtain a different item, and then that would provide like a branching point within this little, little story here. Like maybe there would be a moment within the lighthouse where you need one of two items. We would either have the lighter or the other one. It's empty? Why well, was expecting someone to be here? I just want to go home. The L jacket? The, the life jacket? Someone did hear you. Huh? Hello! I'm Little Jacket! This is the guy I was talking of that Sojo reminded me of. He totally hangs out in... I, I, did he show up and just ignore them as well? I'm pretty sure it was just my big sister. He's 
definitely in my big sister. Uh, you're so cute. Please, don't call me that. It deturbs me. Deturbs? Oh, I I'm sorry. It's fine. So, what are you doing here, miss? Oh, my name is Ro. And I'm not sure how I even got here. Well, then welcome to the Lighthouse of Dreams. Where all your dreams may come. <laughs> Just joking. But seriously, this is the end of the line for you. The end of the line? You mean I can finally go home? Well, that depends. Like, is he gonna send me home, or am I dead? And then that's, it's just the end in that regard instead? It depends on what? On how many souls you saved? Ooh. Did I actually save the soul of that first lady? I might have saved both of them. I think I might have saved both of them. I think in the second one, I don't even know how, like, I killed that lady and saved smiles? Shit, I wonder if there was a way to save both of them, actually. Damn. I'm really not sure about that now. Just joking! Oh, come on! All you have to do is just turn on the light! That's it? That's it! I bet there's a catch. No catch. Just a word of warning. Man, that really had me, like, rifling through things, though, being like, ah, shit, what did I do? Did I do enough? Could I have done more? Like... Quite the fake out there, Stranga. The lighthouse keeper is not one to lie to. The lighthouse keeper. She's sort of like the very first spirit. She controls the lamp at the top of the lighthouse. Even if you know how to turn on the light, she's the one that lets you. Anyway, good luck. Oh, I wonder if it'll be someone we've met in a previous game. You should go up the ladder. She's waiting for you. I am sure saving before I do that. <laughs> Just to be certain, I guess it's the type of lighthouse that you light with a, a lighter. So, you're the lighthouse keeper. Mama, what do you want? What? What do you want? I just want to go home? Do you now? Is that really what you want? It is, yes. So creepy. Sometimes we can't have the things we want, like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? Yes, I do. Everyone deserves a second chance. Even ones like me. Like you? You see, I too have suffered a fate worse than death. But it would be easier to just show you. Oh... This is my unborn baby boy. That's gross and sad. I would... Just put it away, please. Oh, I also just noticed there was no red bow in the boat story. Peculiar. We both died in a car accident. Do you think he deserves a second chance? I mean, obviously, yeah. I... I... Just as I thought. You're just like the others. Just go. You're no good to us. But I... We don't need you. Goodbye. What? It... Is it over? Wait. My bow. Oh, well. It looked like your bow was still... What happened to your bow? What? What could I have done differently? It seemed like your bow was still on your head. How the hell could I have, like, done anything differently to help that lady? Thank you for playing Red Bow. I obtained 30 out of 37 achievements. So there's obviously a few small missed things. And, okay, what was the deal with the pendant? Could I have used the pendant up top there to, like, light things or... or I, I don't even know. There's nothing, seemingly nothing to come back to, to interact with. There's no opportunity to use an item, it just kind of automatically starts playing out. So after a very quick chat with Stranga, it was confirmed that this game, uh, each segment has multiple endings, and then that leads to a larger overall ending in the lighthouse there. So I'm going to come back, 
mess around with a few things and see if we can't uncover something uh, new. I'm trying to be very thorough with uh, my interacting with things as well as maybe clicking on certain things uh, multiple times, seeing as there was kind of like a hint given in the, in the game that uh, interacting with things more than once would be important, such as the examples I gave uh, a little while ago there. I, I never found what to do with the pendant, so I'm gonna have to try and play around with that a little bit as well. What if I head over this way without having met Kubi first? So yes, you can still go this way without having met Kubi. It remains to be seen if it plays out differently. Oh, you mean Kubi? That seems like a little bit of a mistake in the game that it would assume that you had met Kubi first. Hmm, interesting. Now it actually goes to a different thing. Uh, it, it totally skips the intro cutscene. So yeah, I guess if you want the proper story, make sure you talk to Kubi first. What if I choose to place the pendant? Very well. I would say it was a pleasure meeting you, Ro, but nothing here is pleasurable. Farewell. Oh man, okay, achievement self-sacrifice. But I didn't really save that lady. What a weird dream, the road, the creature, I'm glad I'm, I'm awake, and I do not have a pendant anymore. I'm going to ignore the magazine stand, although the telephone plays out automatically, it automatically walks you over to it. So I guess I'll be introduced to the am I pretty through that regardless. Like, uh, I'll show you, it, it, it does this on its own, so regardless of the magazine, you do end up getting am I pretty. I mean, I very distinctly, notably got two different endings from this segment before already, and so I'm curious if that's kind of already... I, I've, I've found both, maybe? I'm curious if there is a specific, like, save smiles and uh, mini ending like if i if i manage to save both of them in some way that's like the the divergence i would see that i've maybe missed out on so far for this portion of the game this is something i want to try but don't have a lot of faith that it would actually work i'm hooking up the uh the power cable to the broken tv and I'm gonna dump the oil all over the, the ground here. There's a chance that the oil would, would ignite as well. I need to see if it would like ignite the oil and, and kill both of them. And then if that would exist as its own separate ending of some sort. Flipping the power, I'll be able to hear uh, a scream, would it be done? I just want it to be pretty. But when I go down there, at the very least, smile should be dead. Ooh. I should I should try and go to other other places before going down there actually. The, the the typical room that we find her in, the dark room, she's not in there. I I went back and interacted with like pretty well everything and nothing seems to have changed back in the the house. And if I go down go downstairs, it's probably going to be the same as before. Uh, everyone is gone and I probably get killed. Yeah. You okay? Oh, I killed him. Terrible. What a shame. Yeah. It seems like the only possible endings here are the switch up up above and torching her uh, down below here. And then he just he just sends you home. There's no additional opportunity to like wander around or interact with other things at that point. I do like the music in this game, actually. The, the different areas each have their own little theme and all of them are... are quite effective. So I have given the liquor straight to the captain and I've had a really nice lengthy chat with the the revenge creature down below here but I've never actually set them free so I'm gonna try and see if I can lace things together in a way where I actually set them free this time. I have a semi-systematic uh, idea here so I can only find one ending one true successful ending to like the Japanese segment. Uh, I did a very non-helpful ending to the first segment, so I'm going to do a non-helpful ending to this one and see how that affects the lighthouse. Then I'll come back and see if I can free that guy. So he's gonna take the rum, send me to the lighthouse, I will have the lighter. So I was terrible, basically just looked out for myself, I want to get home, I want to get home, I want to get home. You're the lighthouse keep What do you want? What? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you now? 
Is that really what you want? It is, yes. Sometimes we can't have the things we want. Like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? I guess I don't, because I didn't help, like, anyone? I, I don't care. I've had enough of this place. I just want to go home. Very well. Okay. Achievement giving up. Is, is it over? Wait, my bow. No! I can't do this again. Please, wake me up, please. You, yes you, wake me up. Me? Breaking the fourth wall here? I don't understand the thing about the bow. Is the fact that you wake up wearing the bow indicative of it being a dream or something? That part I don't understand. But that was technically a very slightly different ending. With that, I'm still missing five different achievements. I'm pulling up my load, hop back down here, and hopefully I am able to set you free. This must be the switch. Do I really trust him? I better wait. I feel like we had a pretty good chat. I, I would let him out. I had Shoujo pour his heart out to us. I know that if I talk to Umbi uh, at this point, he'll just send me away. And so now I need to try and flip the gate switch. Must be the switch. Do I trust him? Yeah, I, I wanna, I want to. I think it's like, I think it's fine. Okay, what about the radio? Does the radio magically work all of a sudden? Can't do anything with it. It seems like it's the limit of different places I can go and, and different interactions I can do. Uh, you admitted to killing everyone and I still give you your booze? What good will that do now, Ro? I've been drowning in my sorrows for far too long. It's about time I end this suffering of mine. Wait, Shoujo! I've waited long enough. Goodbye, Ro. And thank you for helping me set things straight. My bow! An unfixable mistake. I remember this place. I'm sure there was a bright light. I'm not sure what the bow was about. Does that count? Did I... Did I help him? Maybe he moved on because of that. That might actually count as, like, a helpful ending. His whole thing about it depends on how many souls you saved is, like, totally legit. He says he's joking, but it absolutely is what affects the endings of this game. Well, so you're the lighthouse keeper. What do you want? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you? Is that really what you want? Uh... Sometimes we can't have the things, like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? I don't care. I've had enough of this place. I just want to go home. Very well. Hmm. So the opening thing seems to have been pretty impactful. The fact that I didn't help uh, the lady with, with Daisy. The door unlocked, and I'm ignoring it. I'm going back to Kubi to see what happens if I, if I just don't go and investigate the door unlocking. Nothing. Nothing. It just kind of... No proper interaction takes place. Are the bones in that trash can supposed to be her daughter's after she died? It just says, like, it, it may be from a small animal, but, like, probably we didn't look that close. Ugh. So there's a few specific things I haven't done here. I never showed the ribbon back to the mother, and I never placed the picture on that particular rock. I feel like this would be really traumatic to show you this, but I, I want to see if you have any response to it. None, hey? Oh, I'm showing her the picture first, and then the ribbon? No, it's showing the ribbon didn't do anything. Alright, so if I place the picture on there, you wish to save Akira, then it will be done. Know that death is not to be forgiven, but to be remembered. And the achievement, forgiveness. Oh, but it ends the game. Alright, well I guess I'm not going that route. I'm, I'm only missing three achievements. I'm showing Kubi the ribbon. Oh, it... Show you the pendant, nothing. The ribbon just gets a, a dot dot dot. Okay, one ending, or potential ending, that I haven't attempted is... <sighs> pouring the oil and lighting him on fire? 
But the oil very clearly pours like in the water portion, so I don't I don't think that would be it. I tried to use different things on him to see if there was like a way to to cut him down or something. Oil and now lighter. No, I can't. I can't uh, decide to just go bat shit and burn this guy down just for the the hell of it, just to see if it sets her off in some way. Yeah, she's distracted. All that. Do you know what? Now, what if I just bail? Just, just get me out of here. I fried her. I didn't try to do that before. Ah, I think I, I just have to go downstairs. I, I investigated pretty much everywhere else after killing her that other time. And now, fire! Hey, lady, I think you're pretty, pretty hot. I think I broke things there. Uh, because I killed him and burned her. I, I revived him. <laughs> that that's not that's that's uh broken. You probably shouldn't be able to do both like that. But hey, it saved me from having to restart. I can just continue on. There's got to be an interaction with Umbi that I that I've missed. I tried to use like every item on Umbi in his little cage there. No, no interactions. Oh, I was curious if there was a way to like wander in through the back of his little his his cell there. It's strange that I don't trust him. He's the one telling me that I should just go. I should go and do my own thing. Like if he's so sincerely trying to usher me along, then like yeah, I think I trust him. I want to open the I want to open the gate. Oh, I can't pull off a I I can't s set him free ever. I think at this point I've only talked to him once. Not the second little follow-up thing where he talks specifically about Sojo. So I'm gonna go back up here, talk to him without the accusation of your murderer. Do you find any booze? Not yet. Let me know when you do. So then just nothing happens then when there's no accusation to be made. You tell me all about Sojo. And do I trust him? Better wait still. I gave the the picture at that that opening thing. You don't care about the pendant, right? By the way, just quickly confirming that. All right, we had the full heart to heart at that point. Uh, you told me about how your issues. Now you feel like you don't really want to drink yourself away. You feel like you've been kind of uh, sa saved in in some small way. So I I think I helped Daisy and her mom. And I think I helped Sojo, and I didn't really do anything for Umbi, and I don't know if I can. And the second scenario, I literally don't know how to do any interaction other than burn her to death. I guess she was irredeemable, but that feels like it kind of ruins the second chances thing. Like, I'm not giving the Am I Pretty Woman a second chance, uh, and the Smiles guy... It's not like he gets a second chance, He's he just got a shit hand. He just kind of was the one suffering that whole time. It's not like he needed his uh, eternal soul saved in some way. He just had a really tough, shitty life being held captive. Do you want my pendant, little, little buddy? Nothing. Do you want a crowbar? I did not realize that that came with me. Do you want a bottle of rum? I didn't know, like, any of this stuff came with me, really. I don't think there's anything to really interact with out here, though. Yeah, I, I've scoured, like, every pixel. I don't I don't think there's anything you can do in this uh, scene except for go upstairs. Skipping through all this till you ask me about second chances. Do you believe? Do I? Big old pause. What? I didn't realize I could do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to, honestly. <laughs> mm, the game's soft locked. Is that a new ending? So I, I put things aside for a little while and came back to it off camera, played around with things, and think I officially have everything needed to have every achievement and every ending. Then we can wrap it up, put a nice, <laughs> nice bow on things. <laughs> We, we pretty much already had the selfish ending, I guess it would be, which would be things like putting your pendant on the rock in the opening, or killing 
the lady in the second act or giving the guy the bottle of booze down here without resolving anything. I believe we had like a halfway one too where we did some selfless things and some selfish things. Within each of the three different things there's also a way to get like a game over. Placing the photo in the rock at the at the beginning, electrifying the lady in the second part were the two ways that you could do it in the other sex sections of the game. I never found a way to do it here. I am fairly certain, I think, uh, after having like a quick, a quick hint from Stranga, it has to do with unleashing Umbi, and he made it sound like you can just uh, spam the hell out of this. That that was it. That was like the that was like the fifth or sixth time I interacted with it. You know what? Screw it. Let's free him. That's I've interacted with this switch so many times with so many particular interactions leading into it, like talking to people in specific orders and everything. I can't believe all it took was just spamming it. Now what? I'm free. I'm free. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. Wait. What's that sound? Ben were just left dead and drowning in the water. The achievement, a bottomless fate. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just shows up and, and drowns us. Turns out we probably shouldn't have trusted the guy. So I had that queued up to show that like violent umbi ending. And now I can show specifically how to do all of the selfless acts and get the true like good ending of the game. It's amazing how quickly you can start flying through a game when you've played it like, I don't even know, a dozen times trying to play around with different interactions. A dozen might be a bit much, but it's it's got to be like six or seven times. Putting your pendant on that rock is selfish because you don't actually help anyone. You're just taking the immediate easy route of like, here, whatever, I'm going to put anything on the rock. Take it. Take a Kubi. Is that good enough for you? Send me home already. Basically, any interaction where you just quickly try to get sent home without helping people. Remember, placing the picture on the debris just immediately ends things. It's basically like a, a small little game over. You want to place the ribbon on here. I was suspicious that there was a way to try and help both of these people, both Minnie and, and Kokai, but I couldn't find out a way to do it. It turns out it does have to do with this bunch of photos, the pale woman with her boyfriend, only someone's drawn a big smile face over the boyfriend's face. So like obviously I knew that that picture had to do with the two characters, I just like didn't ever find anything to do with it. I eventually found that after like a lot of experimentation of the order of doing things. The sending is actually pretty easy to set up and execute after the first time that we talked to Smiley down here. Once you're done chatting with him, you can come back to the photo frames. I wonder, is this her and him? I better take this. Go chat with her one more time and send her back down to the sewers, but don't worry, you don't have to like set up either of the traps. After this quick chat down here that ends with the whole thing like, oh quickly while she's distracted, instead of trying to kill anyone, a photo of a couple hugging each other. Hey, Mini Kui, I have something for you. What is it? Do you remember this? That picture? Our first date. Where did you get this? You've been living in the shadows too long, lady. It was right outside your door. I haven't left that place for so long. And now I have a question for you. For me? Do you think you're pretty? Well, well, yes, I do. That's a lie. Y you're right. It is. Ever since I lost my dancing career, I thought it was over my looks. So I asked my boyfriend if I looked ugly. And he said, You have a pretty smile. <laughs> I must have overreacted. Yeah, you think? It's a crazy person. I'll say, just look at him. Please, forgive me, my darling. I let my own selfishness destroy our lives, especially yours. I forgive you. I've waited a very long time to tell you that. Thank you, my love. And thank you, Ro. I will send you home. And now, we can have a happy afterlife together.
We're sent back home and we head back to the boat. It requires the first cutscene with Umbi talking to him a second time to learn about the captain, going back upstairs and confronting the captain. And after he's kind of poured his heart out and, and talked about his regrets and everything, he would go back and talk to Umbi a bit, talking about Shoujo's uh, remorse. The selfish version would be just going downstairs, getting the rum, giving it to him before like learning the full story and realizing that he regrets what he did. I think you can either do one selfless thing and two selfish, or two selfless and one selfish tongue twistering. But varying combinations of that, you get that intermediate end where you kind of start to have a real conversation with Mama and then she sends you away. Talking to him about his regrets and everything and giving him the booze anyway still ends up triggering the selfish ending. The game kind of like doesn't, it doesn't treat that as like a new separate thing. So once you hear his full story, go back down to Umbi and he sets you free and sends you home. And that is the selfless ending from the perspective of the game. And with that, we should have queued up all of the selfless interactions in order to get the proper good ending. Uh, Mama has the same dialogue right up until she asks about second chances. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? No, I don't. I believe that's not my choice to make. That should be up to the person asking for one. Hmm. What about me? You? You see, I too have suffered a fate worse than death. But it would be easier to just show you. This is my unborn baby boy. We both died in a car accident. I did this to my child. Do you think he can ask for a second chance? Well? No. He can't. Just as I thought. That doesn't mean it was your fault. Hmm? What do you mean? You said it yourself. It was an accident. It was an accident caused by me. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. You're right, I don't. But then why am I here? <sighs> I brought you here with many others to help us. I can't help you. I can't help anyone. Then we truly are forever lost. No, that's not true. I've seen this world for what it is. A dark and sorrowful place. But it's what I can hear that shines the light through. The people, their souls, the stories. They forget what it was that made them human. Their pasts were painful, but their futures don't have to be. Helping each other isn't enough. Helping ourselves is how we make our future bright. What about those who can't help themselves? Like us. I haven't been helping anyone. I just remind them what life is all about. Struggling whilst holding on to our memories. Hmm. I see. If you're the one that created this place, then you should know that these souls were once people. People who are stuck in one memory. Like an infinite loop. Then, how do we help ourselves, Ro? By remembering. Remembering what it meant to be alive. To cherish the ones we've loved and lost. So that they can become a memory too. I remember someone saying, When we die, the ones who loved us will miss us. But they never will forget us. Well, Ro, thank you. I can never forgive myself for this, but his memory will live on. As will yours. You both deserve a memory. I will allow you to light the lamp. And then I can go home? Yes, you may. But before you do, can I ask you something? Sure, we've come this far. I would like to have your bow. My bow? Yes, I would like to keep it here. As a symbol of hope for us. Here, take it, please. 
Now the fact that she wakes up from the other endings being like, Oh, my bow, dang it, makes a lot more sense. It, is it over? Wait, my bow. I guess it is. I feel sorry for the next person to wear it. Indicating that maybe others who end up having to go on this, like, helping loop adventure thing all end up with the red bow. The red bow is something that unifies people who are stuck in these loops. Which I guess is something that was present in the previous game, my big sister, looping and bows. I don't know. I don't know how much to read into that specifically. And with that, we end up with a relatively long conclusion to a relatively short game. I had to play this for like four hours to find all the available endings. It's much easier to do an all endings video of a game that's already been out long enough for other people to have done the work. I guess it's time I pulled my weight on that front. In Stranga's Discord, they've teased that they have some uh, other games in the works. I have no idea how long the wait will be for, for that. They do have, like, wife and kids, a family to look after and everything, so who knows? It's busy, busy people, but hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this little trilogy of games. It was it was fun to do a, a dive into a, a series like that. We'll see how things come together, doing, like, a connective theory-esque video about how the worlds fit together. Red Bow felt less connected than maybe the immediate connections of just ignore them and my big sister but we'll see I, I might still play around with that idea it could be could be fun thank you all so much for watching i'll see you again soon